Hello, my name is Sakshi Matre. I'm a clinical dietitian and I'm associated with InBody India. So today we'll be discussing about the InBody result sheet and specifically about InBody 270. So this is how the result sheet looks for InBody 270. There are certain parameters which the result sheet covers like body composition analysis, muscle fat analysis, obesity analysis, segmental lean analysis, segmental fat analysis and body composition history. This part of the result sheet is customizable. So you can put the parameters which are necessary for you in this part. It contains weight control, obesity evaluation, waist to hip ratio, visceral fat level, research parameters, calorie expenditure per exercise and the impedance. So what is this impedance exactly? That is what we are going to study now. So this InBody 270 works on a technology called BIA. This machine uses two frequencies in the body, 20 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz. So when you stand on the machine, these two frequencies pass through the body. The lower frequency calculates the extracellular body water while the higher frequency calculates both the intra and extracellular body water. Together with the help of these two, we get the total body water, which is our first parameter. So now we'll be discussing in detail this result sheet with the help of this presentation. This is our InBody 270. Before using, we have to put some data in this. So the ID has to be put. So the ID can be the phone number or it can be your name. Then the height has to be correctly put up in centimeters. Age and gender is supposed to be inserted. Lastly, the test date and time is something which the machine will give you automatically. The first parameter body composition analysis includes total body water, protein, minerals, body fat mass and weight. The total body water has a direct correlation with how much muscles you can have in your body. So if you have good amount of water levels in your body, muscles are mainly made up of water. That's why here if we see the example, this person, so this result sheet specifically has 26.5 liters of body water. So this is somebody's result sheet and this person has 26.5 liters of body water in total. The lower limit for this person is 26.4 while the upper limit is 32.2. This person is coming very close to the lower limit. That is indicating that the body waters are a little less because of which the person may also have less amount of muscles in the body. To improve this total body water, it is very essential to exercise properly. It is very essential to build up muscles so that the water levels increase and we gain muscles. Secondly, in this total body water, how much amount of protein is there? That is mentioned here. So this is the lower limit and upper limit again. So this person has 7.2 kgs of protein, which is again coming to the lower edge. So in this case also, muscle buildup is important and Along with that, how much protein you can take with the biological food, it's important. If somebody is giving any supplements, so accordingly the supplements can also be altered. If someone is having protein levels very high, like uh, if this is the upper limit, 8.6. If it is going to 18 or 19, then the upper limit is very high. Then a further urine analysis can be done to see if there is presence of protein in the urine. Lastly, there is minerals here. Minerals are comprising of two types, specifically in this result sheet. Osseous minerals and non-osseous minerals. So osseous minerals are the ones which are uh, related to our bones, calcium, magnesium. While the non-osseous ones like iron or selenium, are uh, also included in this but in a very small amount. This mineral has a direct correlation with your bone health basically. So if 
it is coming in the range properly your bone health is good if the minerals are less then accordingly the diet can also be monitored or sometimes supplements can be given so when somebody has osteoporosis or osteomalacia you can also check their mineral levels here here we have body fat mass and weight in kilograms again the upper limit and lower limit is mentioned so here we can check if the person has proper amount of body fat if not if they are exceeding the upper limit then they can be overweight or obese in terms of weight also in terms of body fat also this is how the muscle fat analysis looks this is the second parameter which we have so in muscle fat analysis there are three pointers mainly under normal and over here if the weight is coming in the normal category and the muscles are less while the body fat is high it is go going to form a c shaped graph this is called a cautionary graph in this case you need to take precaution that proper muscle build up has to be done and fat has to be reduced if someone has a very good training if someone is doing proper uh, body building or a proper nutrient diet is a combination then we can have a graph like this weight muscle mass and body fat mass everything coming in one range that too in the normal category so it is forming a i shaped graph this kind of graph is called the ideal graph so if someone is having a graph like this they have a balanced and ideal body which should be maintained then we have the d shaped graph d shaped graph is called as the developed graph so when someone is joining a fitness center or if someone is looking for muscle build up this is something they are looking up to where the weight is less body fat is less but the muscle mass is high this is forming a d shaped graph so this is the cid analysis which we do and on the basis of the cid analysis there are even three more types of graphs in each analysis so c shaped graph has three types if the c is formed like this where the muscles are less but the weight and body fat is normal then the person is standard weight and weak because the weight is good the body fat is also good but muscles are less so this person is standard weight and weak second point if someone has very high amount of body fat and the other two parameters are less then the person is standard weight and obese because of the body fat then if someone has more amount of weight also and more amount of body fat also it is overweight and weak because there is devoid of muscles while there is overweight and that weight is purely body fat if everything is coming in the under category weight is less muscle mass is less body fat is less this is indicating that the person is malnourished and proper adequate nutrition proper exercise is required in this case if someone is getting everything in the normal range then this is a ideal body which we call as a ideal graph if weight muscle mass and body fat everything is coming over then this type of person is overweight and obese which we generally see in the bariatric clients as well so where the muscles also have a little bit of fluid retention in it so the water levels are high lastly this is the three types of t shaped graph if weight and body fat is less and muscle mass is high then the person is underweight and strong if weight is normal and body fat is less but the muscles are very high in the over category then this is a standard weight and strong type body while if the weight and muscle mass both are over and body fat is less then this is overweight and strong type why is this overweight and strong type this person is overweight but that weight is purely of muscles which is a good weight that's why it's a strong type of body then we have the obesity analysis in this we cover two parameters which is bmi and percent body fat pbf when we uh, talk in terms of bia technology when we consider something uh, called percent body fat it is very important for us to understand that bmi is just a formula 
in this case you can see that the bmi is coming in the normal range 24 but the percent body fat is high so even if the person may appear fit to you because of the bmi we have to check the percent body fat with the help of bi here there are two ranges which are very important the general range for bmi is 18.5 to 25 which is uh, normal for both the genders while the range for percent body fat is 10 to 20 for males and 18 to 28 for females so if your body fat percentage is lying in this percent then you are healthy if it is going over then either you are overweight or you are obese so likewise exercises should be done diet should be monitored to alter this body fat percentage then we have the segmental lean analysis so here in this result sheet you can see two types of graphs this is segmental lean analysis and this is segmental fat analysis so what is segmental lean analysis bia is dividing your body into five cylinders right arm left arm trunk right leg left leg here we get exact amount of muscles that you have in each part of the body here we can see in the segmental analysis that the left arm has 1.94 kg muscles while the right arm has 2.02 kg muscles both of which are coming in the normal category the trunk has 95.4% muscles which is also normal while the legs have 80.6% and 83.6% muscles which is under under indicates that the muscles of this specific body part is weak here we can see that the muscles of the legs are weak so proper exercise or proper focus has to be given to the legs in this case where we no get the normal percent is 90 to 110% if the ranges are coming between 90 to 110% then it is normal if it is less than 90 it is under if it is more than 110 the person will get over then we have segmental fat analysis here also we are getting exact how much fat is accumulated in each body part in this case you can see that the fat is evenly distributed in the body so such kind of clients need to do proper exercise like walking jogging or something which will help them burn fat basically and here we need to understand even if fat is specifically there in one part of the body like here the trunk region has more amount of fat but spot reduction is not possible that's why when we are doing fat burning exercises it has to be done for the whole body yet you can give a little bit of more focus on the specific body parts with where fat is majorly accumulated then we have the body composition history so in this body composition history once the test is done you will have three points plotted where weight skeletal muscle mass and percent body fat is there when test is done for the second time a graph like this will be formed so it helps for tracking and monitoring the health status of the person so you can do this after 15 days or you can do it after months it is up to you because this is completely non invasive and there is no radiation in this so this helps a lot in tracking the health status and also when we talk about segmental fat analysis it is important to know that the ranges are 80 to 160% if it is coming in this range then the percent is going to be not we have the in body score here so somebody who is getting a in body score of 80 is considered to be fit if someone is having a score less than 80 between 70 to 80 then the person is in the improvement phase if someone has a score even less than 70 then proper monitoring has to be done this is how we get the in body score there is a formula that we subtract 80 minus the fat control and muscle control what is this fat control and muscle control we have a parameter called weight control here in that the target weight is mentioned the weight control how much weight needs to be reduced is mentioned and exactly how much muscles have to be increased and how much fat has to be decreased that is mentioned so that is very important this helps us to calculate the in body score 
here if you can see in the weight control muscle control is 2.5 kg plus plus indicates that we need to gain 2.5 kg muscles in that process there will be reduction of fat always our main focus should be muscle gain and not just fat loss then we have the waist to hip ratio and visceral fat the waist to hip ratio range for females is 0.75 to 0.85 while the range for males is 0.80 to 0.90 if someone is getting the waist to hip ratio between this range then they are in the healthy category if the waist to hip ratio is going higher it is again going to affect the visceral fat level so what is visceral fat exactly visceral fat is the fat around our organs it is the most dangerous kind of fat we can have so if this goes above the cut off of 10 then the person is going to have some sort of issues so if someone has pcod pcos or diabetes they are ought to have a high level of visceral fat or if someone is doing doing proper dietary modifications then the visceral fat can be higher then we have certain research parameters also where fat free mass is mentioned so fat free mass is when we consider our weight if we subtract the fat mass from that we are getting the fat free mass this is like the muscles and that amount is also given how much fat free mass you have basal metabolic rate is given so basal metabolic rate bmr are the resting calories which we have this is like the minimum calorie requirement of our body even if you are sleeping or if you are doing nothing this is the minimum calories your body needs then obesity degree is given if the obesity degree is coming between 90 to 110 percent then the person is normal here the obesity degree is going to 114 percent here the person is obese if we see the recommended calories so these are the calorie intake the person has to take in the whole day so 2000 calories can be taken in the whole day and likewise the diet can be monitored so if you are dividing your day into breakfast lunch or breakfast mid morning lunch then a uh, mid evening dinner a uh, calories like 300 calories 200 calories a lot of division can be done with the help of this recommended calories you can also see how much percent of carbohydrates are required how much percent of proteins are required so that helps a lot in diet planning lastly there is a qr code also on the result sheet which can be customized if you want and all this information is available on the qr code so there is one parameter which is calorie expenditure of exercise so if someone exercises for 30 minutes if someone is walking or playing badminton this much amount of calories are burned with the help of that exercise this is individualized for each client so when we keep telling someone that you have to exercise you have to exercise so we are also giving some examples with the help of which you can exercise you can club two or three of these like walking jogging and accordingly exercise so this is how the result sheet is interpreted for in body 270 and the amalgamation of the whole result sheet is the in body score so our goal will always be tracking a in body score of 80 and having a good health status